Les Tokar, the SSD Review Technology X, showing you our newest Z370 Tai Chi Optane test bench. Absolute quickest system we've ever built. The initial build was the fastest startup we've ever seen. And the way we have it configured now to 5 gigahertz is still the fastest startup we've ever seen. Shutdown, exactly the same. One to two seconds max uh, is all it takes regardless of whether it was the initial configuration or the way we have it set up right now. Um, if you stay tuned in the video, we're going to show you exactly how we achieve 5 gigahertz. Uh, but for now, let's take a look through, uh, well, uh, through a few things here. Uh, CPU ID. So in the CPUs, we have the uh, uh, CPU benchmark, Intel Core i7-8700K, Coffee Lake, and it's running at a 50 times multiplier uh, with a bus speed of 100 for 4 or 5 gigahertz. Cache. ASRock Z370 Tai Chi motherboard. Kingston Predator, 64 gigabytes of DDR4 3000 memory running at spec. Uh, relying on an old favorite graphics card by PNY uh, with the NVIDIA Quadro M5000. And something that I should mention right off the bat, in order to achieve the uh, 5 gigahertz tested and comfortable, I'm using a Corsair Hydro H110i liquid, liquid cooling solution. So we can also pull up the A64 engineer. And while we're discussing the uh, solid state drive itself, let's, uh, let's start Intel Extreme Tuning in the background and we'll do some stress testing on it. CPU stress test, start testing, minimize it, let's bring it to the lower, bottom corner here. Okay, so the solid state drive, the Optane, uh, we can use it with the Windows standard driver or the Intel NVMe driver. Uh, very little difference between the between the two. Um, here it is with the Windows Windows NVMe driver, Crystal Disk Mark with the Intel NVMe NVMe driver. AS SSD, Windows NVMe. Intel NVMe. ASSD IOPS, Windows NVMe, Intel NVMe. You'll see we've hit 500K on both. With ASSD, we're seeing that we're seeing slightly better results with the Intel NVMe driver. Anvil, Windows NVMe. Good thing about Anvil is it tells you everything at the bottom here, what you need to know. And Intel NVMe. Uh, CD info, just for a little bit of background for you, on the SSD. And as we've seen, uh, we've gone about a minute and a half, and no problem whatsoever, nice and solid. So what we're going to do is shut this down. We're going to we're going to switch over to UEFI, and I'm going to show you exactly how we achieved five gigahertz. Um, stable on the system. So, you could use load optimized CPU OC setting, but we couldn't get it to run stable um, in at 4.8 or 5. 4.7, no problem whatsoever. So, what we did was this. CPU configuration, all core at 50 times. That was step one. Voltage configuration. CPU core cache voltage offset mode, 120 millivolts. That was step two. That was it. That's how we achieve five gigahertz in this board and it runs solid as a rock. 
Uh, as for memory, I haven't really fooled around with it yet. I simply pushed the uh, uh, Kingston Predator memory to uh, the XMP2 Profile 1, and it's running at 3,000 megahertz. Simple as that. So, there you have it. Let's talk our the SSD review. I hope you enjoyed this video.